Welcome back everybody. I'm going to be going through the Displacer Plan Maker. It's available on my website. It allows you to dynamically create plans for a paper displacer for a Stirling engine. Um, first we need to figure out the diameters of the cylinder of the engine we're going to make. Uh, in the case of my new engine I'm designing, it's going to be an inside diameter of 72 inch, um, 72 millimeters. All values are in millimeters. The height is 117 millimeters. Okay, so we have our diameter. Space. There's the spacing around the um, displacer inside the displacer cylinder. Go three millimeters. That should be fine. Vertical travel. So the distance the displacer is going to go up and down while the engine's running. Roughly 10 millimeters is what my crankshaft design is going to allow for. So we'll go with that. Travel padding, that's um, basically to compensate for errors making the crankshaft. You don't want it to go up too high, down too far, or it's going to bottom out and stop the engine. I'm going to go with 3 for that on mine. If you, uh, you can choose a fill for the displacer. Uh, right now we're just going to hit generate here and see what we get. So, we get a two-page plan. The top is uh, circle patterns for the top and the bottom and a little support ring. Here we have uh, the body of the displacer. It basically gets rolled into a cylinder. So let's go back and try a couple fills. You can do a single fill. Doesn't, uh, a couple of inserts. Generate. If you do two fills, then it's going to look, um, you know, split it down the middle. We'll do snow on top and fire on the bottom. And give it a hot cold theme. Go back here. Snow, fire. In the corners of the, uh, the plans, we have uh, a couple reference squares. So when you print it, you can verify that it came out to the right size. You can either click on these and save them and print them from a program that uh, works with dots per inch or pixels per inch or millimeter or from your browser. I've tested this with Firefox. I haven't tested it with other browsers, but if you go to Print Pre Preview, and, uh, Page Setup, make sure it's Landscape, of course, because that's the layout of the image. And then it's, Scale has to be 100%, shrink to fit page must not be checked. Then go to margins, <coughs> margin and header, footer, set those to about 0.3 inches, hit OK, it's going to resize, and the, the entire picture should fit on the page fine. Just adjust those values until it fits, click print, and you have your plans. In the case of this, particular uh, plan I'm going to go with the uh, a beer theme because I'm making a new beer bottle engine so we've set this one to none and we'll just have a single fill and the plan we generate looks a little like that here we have the finished pattern cut out we'll just go through a quick assembly first I like to poke a hole a pin in the middle of these
once you have it all glued together and assembled, you can use the pinholes you made earlier to uh, feed the shaft in. That will make the displacer go up and down inside. Uh, you know, a little epoxy there. I usually put a reflective uh, foil bottom over the top of that and it uh, operate right like that. Sometimes I'll put some high temp epoxy there to help hold things in place. I don't want it to bulge up too much or it'll hit the top. But